In today's video, we'll explore the invaluable advantages of process mapping and discuss four techniques that can revolutionize the way you approach efficiency in your organization. My name is Luca and welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the world of Lean Six Sigma and continuous improvement tools. Advantages of process mapping are that it is a cornerstone of Lean Six Sigma offering a visual representation of workflows that allows organizations to identify and eliminate inefficiencies. One of its key advantages is enhanced clarity, providing a clear understanding of the entire process from start to finish. This visual aid facilitates communication among team members and stakeholders, fostering a shared understanding of the workflow. Moreover, process mapping enables the identification of bottlenecks and areas of waste, paving the way for targeted improvements. By fostering a culture of continuous improvement, organizations can streamline operations, reduce lead times, and ultimately enhance customer satisfaction. Process mapping is not merely a tool, it's a strategic asset that empowers teams to make informed decisions and drive organizational excellence. Flowcharts are perhaps the most common and straightforward process mapping technique. They use standardized symbols to represent different steps in a process, making it easy for anyone to follow the workflow. Flowcharts are excellent for illustrating sequential processes and decision points, providing a bird's eye view of the entire process. Value stream mapping is a specialized form of process mapping that focuses on identifying value-added and non-value-added activities in a process. By, by distinguishing between these activities, organizations can target areas for improvement, reduce waste, and enhance overall efficiency. The value stream map is particularly effective for understanding the entire value stream from raw materials all the way to the end customer. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and leave a comment below. Also, if you want to learn more about Lean Six Sigma and continuous improvement tools, check out our book on Amazon. Link is in the description below. Swimlane diagrams organize process steps based on the responsible department or individual. This technique is especially beneficial for cross-functional teams, offering a visual representation of responsibilities within a process. By clearly defining roles and handoffs, organizations can reduce confusion and improve collaboration among team members. SIPOC, which stands for Suppliers, Inputs, Process, Outputs, and Customers, is a mapping technique that provides a high-level overview of a process. It helps identify key elements and stakeholders involved in the process, facilitating a comprehensive understanding. SIPOC diagrams are instrumental in defining the scope of improvement projects and ensuring that all relevant factors are considered. If you want to see more videos like this, support our work on Patreon. Link will be in the description. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, never stop improving.